Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am sharing my March 2020 for the Love of Homemade Kits. Um, so I'm just going to walk through and uh, show you what I'm going to be using this month for this kit. So, paper. A recent or new paper purchase. So this is a recent paper purchase from me. It's from Close to My Heart. It's Celebrate Today. It has this watercolor -y mixed media um, side, and then on the back is this plaid. So I pulled both of them because they're both recent. Um, a tiny print or pattern. I actually pulled two of these again. I um, have this tiny circle print from, um, oh, what is this? I, woo, I don't remember where this came from. Um, this I have from Gossamer Blue. It's this black and white print on one side and then this tiny floral on the other. So whichever direction I want it to go in, I could do that. Um, an ombre style paper. Struggled, struggled big time with finding, finding the ombre style. Um, this is the closest I found, um, which was from Horizon. It has airplanes on the back and then the pinks on the side. Um, a bold pattern paper. I pulled this one from Chamel's Field Trip. This is definitely bold you guys definitely bold um, and then a specialty paper so I brought in this star vellum with the gold foil okay so there are my papers and um, as you can see I have a lot less papers this time than I did last time even though I brought in a couple of papers instead of just one um, art crayons or gelatos so I pulled one of my Jane Davenport color sticks and this, and I thought that these colors were a great match. And then in Mr. Spray, I have the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine um, embellishment. So roller stamp, I brought in two. I brought in one that um, is a letter, oops, slinging it, a letter roller stamp, and that's from Pebbles. And I also brought in this Project Life one that has little decorative bits and phrases. So I have two of those. Um, chipboard. I don't have chipboard. I completely missed the chipboard. Hmm. I have to bring some in. Okay, we'll skip that. Um, clips of some kind. I have two different kinds. I have these metal ones from Tim Holtz and I also have these tiny um, copper paper clips. Spring themed embellishments. So I have some florals. Um, I also brought in some hearts. Now I don't know if you necessarily agree with me that hearts are spring themed, but I feel like they are. So I have some Scrap and Happy Studio epoxy flares. I also have some acrylic hearts here. Um, and then I also brought in regular flares with some florals. Um, and then um, I brought these in as well, these Vicky Booten things and then the spring brought two sticker sheets and one literally says hello spring and one I thought was springy enough with colors and flowers and stuff like that and then wood veneer and I brought in a bunch of wood veneer some words some icons and then I dropped everything as the video was going, guys. So two alphabets, a fancy alphabet. So this is a fancy gold glitter alphabet. And then I have any style of black alphabet. And this is a black alphabet with a white font on top of it. And I still have lots of letters in there. And then punches. So I have a heart punch. I also have my trusty label punch. And then this you can't really see what this is, but this is a scalloped punch. So I have that. And I guess I gotta grab myself some chipboard, huh? Oh boy. Okay, I'll be right back with some chipboard. Okay, right back. I just have some chipboard left over from Citrus Twist. 
Um, this is Hello Forever from Studio Calico, and these are just a bunch of chipboards that are just chilling out on a piece of paper because they're just little bits that are left over. So this is my homemade kit, and make sure you ring the bell so you get notifications every time I post a video. Hit subscribe so you can check out all of the layouts that I make this month with this kit, and I will see you guys again real soon.